Hi everybody, uh, thanks for watching the last episode about the weight training for BJJ. Um, I realized that we covered um, the training for our upper body, uh, but as you can see in the program I've uploaded in the, in the description, it's a total body workout, right? Um, but your lower body is also a very important part to train. A lot of people often forget it, but especially for us jiu-jitsu fighters, I think it's uh, maybe even more important than your upper body. So training your legs and your back, especially your lower back, not only for strength, but for um, uh, injury prevention as well. So that's something I want to show you guys today. So that's why I decided to make an extra video about it. Kind of a bonus video towards the end of the year. Um, right now it is snowing, it is really cold outside. Otherwise I would have shown you uh, a very fun device. Uh, it's called the Prowler Power Sled. Um, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it because I think uh, you can uh, you can watch a lot about it on YouTube already. But in the summer, we'll take it out and do an episode about uh, the Prouder or Power Sled, if you like. So this device uh, I was just talking about is the Power Sled or uh, Prouder. So if you look on, on YouTube for some videos for Prouder uh, training or Power Sled training, you'll find enough stuff. Uh, but I'm gonna show you guys when the weather is better. Uh, because like I told it, it's snowing right now and uh, we run it on grass and uh, It's undoable right now. You'll sink in the grass It's really horrible. It digs in so we'll have to wait a little bit But this is a great workout for your core for your stamina and for your legs um, 15 minutes with this Well, and, and you'll feel it all day and probably the week after as well um, It's great for uh, jiu-jitsu um, but also for other uh, martial arts uh, because it really attacks, uh, attacks the, the stamina and the core in, in a way no weight training or jiu jitsu training can do. So if you have one at your disposal, as, at your disposal uh, try it out. And like I said, I'm going to make a video about it later on. But for today, we're going to do the more traditional weight training and do some deadlifts and stuff and train our lower body. So I hope you guys will, uh, will enjoy it. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment and uh, subscribe if you haven't already done it and a thumbs up if you like the video. Have fun! So as mentioned, uh, we're going to do some deadlifts and we're going to do it the same way as we do with every training. So we're going to do the warmer specifically uh, for this exercise. So we're going to start with uh, deadlifting with the bar. Uh, most important thing is the performance. So it's not about the weight you achieve but how you do it. So you don't injure yourself in weight training. And uh, right now I'm wearing shoes, uh, it's Nike Air Max. So those are the worst shoes to train, uh, for instance, your legs. Because uh, the padding in the shoe just adds instability. So when I do this exercise, I just do it on socks or you can buy special shoes for it. But I just uh, like the contact with the floor so I take the shoes off for this exercise basically. So at, uh, at one point I like to add in some, uh, some safety features like the straps. Um, but you can argue that training without straps is better for your grips. Uh, but on the other hand you can argue um, that when you wear them out in weight training you can't really use them in Jiu Jitsu. So I think um, uh, your grip and your hands should never compromise your exercise. So that's why I use the, uh, the straps. So I can focus on the positioning of my body and especially my spine. If my spine is bent like this instead of hollow, um, I might you know, have a serious back injury. And I don't like an over under grip because that puts a lot of uh, stress on either one of the biceps. So I use the straps from one point on and uh, yeah, just, just perform the deadlift. What's more important than the weight is how you perform the exercise. So, for instance, this for me is a pretty light weight. 
but all the heavy weights are loaded on my bar for the uh, de uh, deadlift. So instead of just rushing through the exercise, I just take my time and increase the time under tension. Um, so that instead of just giving short, heavy um, uh, contractions to my muscles, I just increase the time they're under tension. So um, even if you are limited in resources or have to do this kind of exercise with a resistance band, well, just take your time. And you can surely uh, drain your muscles with a light weight as well. Go figure out. Try and do as much push-ups as you if you can. And if you've done it two or three sets, I guarantee you your chest will be burning. So uh, there's always a way to find if you want to train. Another thing you might want to take in consideration when doing heavy deadlifts or squats or other exercises that um, include your lower back is using a lifting belt. So something like this. So why? Uh, because if you make a mistake, you collapse, uh, you lose your, 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 your form. Um, the pressure isn't relieved on one of, your, uh, uh, one of your, your bones in your back, but it's divided through the belt. So your whole core supports the weight. Some people say, well, it is to, hit, uh, to, to do heavier lifts. For me, it's not, uh, but I like safety first, so that's why I use the belt. Feel free to do whatever you like, but it's just my personal opinion uh, to use the belt. So, for now, I'm gonna do a heavier uh, deadlift, so I'm gonna use the belt from now on towards my, uh, my working set. The next exercise is actually one I really hate, is reverse lunges. Um, why do I hate it? Uh, because this exercise, more than any other exercise, uh, depends on stability. So, even if you have really strong uh, legs, you know, if your core is off, you're off balance, whatever, it's a very hard exercise. So that's why you don't need a lot of weight, and uh, well, you actually feel a little bit uh, more tired out when doing this exercise than, for instance, doing a leg extension or something, because that's an isolated exercise. So that's why uh, you see in the supersets we make, when the primary muscle is attacked, the other muscle is more of an isolated exercise. So this, this exercise, the re uh, reverse lunge, is supersetted with the same one as before, the leg extensions. So uh, let's do uh, the exercise first without the bar so you can see what the idea is, and then we'll go to a working set. Working set is really, really low, but it's just about you know the stability and uh, attacking the other muscles in your legs that uh, will help for the exercise. So not only, not only quadriceps, but all the little muscles around it are affected as well. Like I just mentioned, the uh, reverse lunges are supersetted with the same leg extension as before. So you just try and uh, use the same weight for the leg extension. It feels a lot heavier. <laughs> I can tell you that. So you've probably already had a look at the whole training program. And if you look at it, you see that upper body exercises are a bit more than the lower body. Uh, that's because the lower body uses a lot more energy than the upper body and as Omar explained in the previous video this program is set up so you can train every day just do short sessions um, and you can still train jiu-jitsu because we don't want that our weight training affects our jiu-jitsu in a negative way it should be uh, complementary so it help uh, to, to get a strong and fit body and not wear out with all sore muscles. And of course you have some sore muscles uh, when you've trained, but not to that extent that it hurts and you cannot train. 
So that brings us to the last exercise for today. Um, and that's actually a superset. And if you look at the program, it's superset. It's the ab wheel. Uh, by the way, it's only a 10 euro uh, tool, so buy an ab wheel. Ab wheel with uh, calves or calves. Is it, I don't know, is it calves or calves? Kind of tomato, tomato, right? But the lower part of your leg, um, to be honest, I don't do the, the, the calves exercise today. I'm gonna do something for bicep with um, the resistance band, why? Because I have a little, a little bit of pain on the joint, on my bicep. Uh, I think I somewhere sprained it a little bit. So I'm gonna do ab wheel with the bicep exercise with the resistance band. So you guys are gonna see that. Um, you can do the exercise when standing or on your knees. Um, to be honest, this is my uh, fourth day of weight training in a row. So my abs are kind of pre-worn out, so I do it on my knees. And to be honest, that's the way I normally do it as well, because that's just um, how I could, can put a lot more um, focus on my abs than on, for instance, balance or something. You can see that I'm going lower now. So this uh, is actually the best to do. So you can stop here, but if you add a little bit extra, it stretches uh, your stomach and you use your arms and your stability in your core to a good extent. So I'm gonna superset the uh, ab exercise with uh, resistance band exercise for my bicep. Like I said, I want to uh, support the blood flow because it's a little bit sore right here in the ligaments. So it's not going to be a heavy exercise, but just for uh, for relief. And um, in a way of supersetting, of course, it doesn't make sense to superset those two exercises, but it just saves time, you know. So. Uh, you can do it. Keep your heart rate high. That's always good. Okay. Um, today's training is finished. So the vlog for today is finished as well. I'm gonna enjoy my, my after workout shake. And I hope you guys will subscribe, like, and share the video. Uh, thanks for doing that. I really appreciate it. I saw a lot of people sharing on Instagram and Facebook and stuff like that. That's really appreciated, guys. Thank you for helping me um, to get a broader audience. Really appreciate it. See you guys next week.